was I was helping a first year teacher who had really good mentors and support. Um, so she didn't need me to be an expert on kindergarten teaching, which was good because my background was at the time was middle school. But she she had a problem one day when it was my time to come check in her in on her and see how things were were going in her class. What she had was a new student, and this new student had come and needed to make friends in the middle of the year, and you know, whole bunch of kindergartners and all kinds of social emotional stuff going on when a kindergartner starts a new school, and maybe a good problem, but a challenging problem for a kindergarten teacher because this. This kindergartner was reading books that were more like the books that the second graders were reading. And so what had happened was this new student was increasingly isolated. So it was, you know, no real problem to challenge the student because you could, you know, get her alone and read by herself. But the notion that she might not be part of a group was a, was a real challenge for this first year teacher. And it was just something that resonated with me. And in the moment we had to troubleshoot it. And the idea that no reading group would suffice because they were all reading groups that are reading books that just weren't gonna, she was gonna read them too quickly. She'll stand out like a sore thumb. And so what I thought about was, you know, with this first year teacher and we just tried something, we just brought a bunch of sticky notes. We said, well, let's slow her down. Let's see how she writes about reading. And, you know, we'll, we'll put some sticky notes on the table. We'll give her a pencil and we'll see how it goes. Before we, before we try to get her to go do a reading group in the second grade room, which is a whole nother, you know, issue, um, set of questions. So anyway, what was really impactful for me on that day was, you know, of course, this young girl was earnest to do a good job, wanted to know what she could write. And we said, you know, you could write a question, you could write an opinion, or you could just write what happened. And that was good enough. She was good to go. And so as the teacher was instructing this reading group, the way she always did, you know, the girl grabbed a sticky note and started writing her ideas. And then the second time they stopped to talk about the book. The little boy next to her was a little ahead of the group as well. And he went over and he reached and grabbed a sticky note, right? And I remember, you know, it's like this, this little girl who was new to class and the previously like, you know, in this like higher performing reading group, all of a sudden these, you know, no kindergartner wanted to be left out with the sticky notes. And so there was just like this instant challenge of practice about like, what are we gonna do here? And it was really fun for me because one, it felt like we made the girl for that day a part of the group something interesting to puzzle over. We also, you know, left that group of kindergarten teachers some questions about how is this developing the writing and what do we see in the writing? What is the, what are the students doing in their response to reading? What are they getting ready to do? There's a question the other kindergarten classes weren't asking until they had a problem to solve. And it was just fun. And so that's how I think about the K part of social reading and social annotation.